All right, first and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Kakadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, whom rule well, teach well, being great examples towards younger brothers. Peace and blessing, salutations, and hopeful luck out there pushing his word and truth and this is series that across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Hashem Hoshai. Pushing to get up out of here. Shout out one to the hopeful elect, the believers, the listeners, whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Hashem Hoshai. And what I want to get into, okay, this morning, all right, is dealing with how, you know, we are the representation, all right, of Yahweh Shai in the earth. Okay, the men of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai are a representation of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai on the earth. Because when you go to the book of uh, 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, you know, around the 19th verse, it tells you how, you know, we are ambassadors of Yahweh Shai Hamasiyah. Okay, and an ambassador, okay, will go to foreign lands and represent the voice all right the the mind and the stance of their nation in the foreign country okay an ambassador all right of a kingdom will go to another foreign kingdom and be the representation of that kingdom in the foreign land okay and everything that that ambassador would do will reflect okay the kingdom that he represents you know, and that's why the scriptures is so heavy, you know, on conduct. Okay, the scripture is so heavy on being balanced. The scripture is so heavy on righteous judgment, you know, because our actions is a direct representation of the kingdom that we preach. Okay, and as we teach this word, all right. We have to also have a conduct that represents the kingdom that we preach about. You know? And the scriptures is full of, of, of judgment, you know, that deals with what? Balance. You see how David, you know, carried himself against Saul. Okay? That's, a, that's, that's conduct that can be mimicked now. Okay? We have people that we know, all right, have ill will towards us, you know, in our day to day, but there's a certain way that we can conduct ourselves. Now, we don't be gullible, you know, <laughs> and just put ourselves in a bad situation, okay? But we do move with integrity, you know? Not that, uh, that pettiness of trying to get your lick back all the time, Okay, not that pettiness of when you do have the opportunity, you know, to destroy them, you know, just as David did, you fall back and let the judgment come from your house by Shema Shot, you know, and that's a, what an example, you know, of kingly conduct, you know, kingdom conduct, as we represent your house shot. And see, the scripture tell us that how wisdom gives subtlety to the simple. And it gives us discernment and discretion. You know, in the book of Proverbs. And then, Yahweh Shai, alright? What do you say? Be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Okay? Because it's not our nature to be, you know, just hostile, okay, off balance, on edge, all right, we should know how to adapt in any scenario, in any situation, that's the beautiful thing about wisdom, this wisdom should, 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 should give us a mind frame to adapt in all situations, and know how to maneuver, okay, as a serpent, Okay, a serpent. When you when you think of animals, okay, you go to the woods. You can walk, you know, four or five miles in the woods, 
and not see a serpent. That don't mean that, that, that the snakes ain't there, the serpents ain't there. You just don't see them. You just don't know, <laughs> you see? Why, man? Because, hey, they're, they're not, you know, a, 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 a boisterous people, I mean, a boisterous species, you know, where they're just trying to be seen just to be seen, okay? They're not, you know, out in the front. They play their part. They maneuver, <laughs> you see? And that's how we have to be with this wisdom. The way how Shai gave us those examples, okay? Giving subtility to the simple. Because in these situations in the earth, man, we should find ourselves four or five steps ahead of everyone, man. And that comes from what? Discernment. That's why scriptures say, you know, you shouldn't be of many words, especially when you are in a new setting. You know, we should be learning that setting. Learning people, learning people motives, and then we maneuver based off that. Okay? Maneuver based off that. All right? And we in the times now, for sure, as like I said, we in the times now where we know there's a major target on the elect, on the hopeful elect, on the believers, man. Okay? And why y'all shot say, look, let, let, let not know, let your left hand know what your right hand doing. Okay? I say the world, there's gonna be a lot of people surprised that they was among prophets this whole time. That they was, that they was in close vicinity of a prophet this whole time because of the way that they man moved. And you still, we still do it within the law. Okay? To the best of our ability, we still move according to the standard, but it's not in a boisterous way. Okay, imagine a snake with you with fringes on. <laughs> a serpent in the wood with fringes on, man. You know? And all these accessories on, man. Alright? It will stand out. The snakes, they got, they got predators, man. <laughs> you see? The snake ain't at the top of the food chain. The snake got predators, man, and they act accordingly, man. They understand their limitations. All right? That's why they're very strategic with every strike. They not just, you know, <laughs> maneuvering around, just striking all day. No, they strategic. With they strike, man. The snake eat, you might not eat again for days, man. Cause it's it's strategic. Cause that meal that it, you know that they waited on, you know, it's enough to suffice them for some days. So they know they have to be strategic. Cause they 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 can't be chasing down. They know they not the lion or the cheetah, where they can just be chasing down, okay, other animals, man. Okay? One of their strengths is what, man? Camouflage. Okay? <laughs> and that's how we have to move in this, in this society. And we are a representation of, you know, the kingdom that we preach, man. We deal with people, man. You know? There's a certain... There, there, there's a certain standard, all right, that we, that we move by. And see, people being off... You know of, of integrity because this world lacks that man you know when you making decisions not based on emotion but based on what's right okay according to the standard that we go by people being out you know when you can show discipline okay and you can show restraint you know people people being out with that man you know when you when you know when you, when you know things like we should be able to be in the room with anybody and have a conversation, man. You know anybody on you know they think they're on some type of level or anything, we should be able to have a conversation with them, man. <laughs> you know a back and forth a dialogue, man. 
You know, because I love dialogue, you know, with, with uh, you know, especially people that's, that, that's um, from other countries, you know, and got a lot of experience. You see? Why, man? Because remember, we like, because when you come, when you're an ambassador, that means you've been hanging in the courts. You've been pretty much groomed in the courts, you know, with the king. Okay? And you would know worldly affairs. Okay? You would know history. <laughs> you see? You would know, you know, current events and, you know, how, how the earth works and how, you know, uh, the economy works to some degree. You would know these things. You know, if you was an ambassador uh, of a king, because you would be in the king courts listening to all these different conversations, man. And that's how it is when we read the scriptures. You know, we're in the king's court. And then we, you know, we keep up with, you know, go into the history. Then you go into, you know, geopolitics and, you know, you see how this works and what nation, you know, uh, 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 you know, has this resource, what nation has that resource and, you know, what ties they got, you know. That's what, you know, nobility is about, man, understanding the systems, okay, <laughs> that run the earth you on, man, you know. And that's part of being an extension of your house shot. Okay? But I just wanted to put that out there. I was thinking about it this morning. You know, Lord will, you brothers, you know, and you few sisters were edified. Until the next time, I say, Shalom. Shalom, Yashallah. Baba, Baba, DTA soon.